Hello, everybody. Good morning. I hope everybody is doing good. Right. I see a lot of strength today. Right. I hope everybody is fine. Right. Are your midterm exams going on, people? Are your midterm exams going on? No. Are you guys? Able? Okay. So Harita says yes. Sanya says no. Maybe so. Some of you, have, uh, most of the schools, but I think that uh, they have started uh, some midterm examinations. Right. And last class, it's a completed the syllabus, right? Syllabus in the sense for your midterm exams, right? So we had uh, uh, chemical reactions and equations, acid bases and salts, and metals or non-metals. All things we have completed thoroughly. Okay, right? So today's class is just going to be, uh, you know, uh, just give me a moment, people. Just give me a moment. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, there's a small problem with my writing screen. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna manage today. Right, it's not working. But anyways, we'll somehow manage, don't worry. Right, so yeah, as I said, uh, the three chapters, chemical reactions and equations, acid bases and salts, and uh, uh, your uh, metals and non-metals have already been completed, right? So anybody has any particular question you wanna ask me? Or if, if you don't have questions, I will ask you questions. That's what you're going to do today. Okay. Is there anything you want to ask in particular? From any of the three chapters, which you studied, so this was the doubt or this question I, I, I was solving, I was not able to solve anything like that. Okay, so can we go on with our quiz then? I think I segregated into your groups, right? Can we go on with the quiz? From three yes, chapters, I'll just randomly I'll ask questions. Is it fine, guys? Everybody is fine with it? 
Harita says fine. Any anybody else has any comment? Everybody is fine, guys. Can we do the quiz? Yes, sir. Okay, right. So then, let me share my screen. But I don't know where was the. Anybody remembers this? It's not my page. This of what? No. I think here only, right? I think. Or it was the last class things. Yeah, this was last class. Did we get it, get it done here? Hey, uh, do you guys remember your uh, group members who was in your group? Sir, I think we met on fifth, sir. Fifth. Okay. No, this is fourth, tenth, fourth, four, seven is there. Let me check. No, no, this is, I think, chemical reactions in the equation chapter. This is uh, way long. This is it. Is this the thing? Okay, so maybe we'll not go on the quiz today. I'll, I'll just, it is going to be a quiz, but not like group wise. Let me search about it. Okay. Or well, let's give me two more minutes. Two more minutes if you are not getting. Then we are going to, I'm going to ask you questions directly. No, this is not the case. It should be before this class somewhere. No, guys, I'm not able to find it. It's okay, right? We will, I'll ask you directly questions, right? And before that, I have to switch off my video because I will be actually tilting my screen. One second. Now I have to write with my hands. In pen itself, my handwriting will be very good. In hand, I am really sorry for your situations, people. <laughs> right? Okay. So, anyways, we'll start today. It's been, I don't know, 15 minutes got wasted. I'm so sorry. Right. Anyways. So, now. Okay. Right. So, let us go for some questions. Um, fine. So if I ask you, um,
I have line. Okay. Now line on reaction with water. Okay. First complete the reaction and tell me whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Right, whether the reaction is endothermic or exothermic. Right, if at all you are getting confused, this is my quick line. Okay, anybody can answer. Complete the reaction. And then tell me whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Yes, I hope everybody is here. Everybody is able to hear me properly. What is quick line, people? Calcium oxide. Ah, calcium okay. oxide. Okay, so calcium oxide, when I add water to it, what will happen? It becomes calcium, calcium hydroxide. hydroxide. That's it, right? That's the reaction then. So CaO plus H2O is going to form. Oh, God, my hands. CaOH twice, right? CaO plus H2O forms. CaOH twice. Done? Okay. Now tell me whether this reaction was exothermic or endothermic. Exothermic. 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 This was one of your activity, right? In your first chapter, right? They asked you to touch the test tubes. Same reaction only. Quick lime reacting with water will form calcium hydroxide. If you touch the test tube, how what will you what, what will you find? If you touch the test tube. What will happen if it's an exothermic reaction? How will how will the test tube feel? Hot or cold? Heat is hot, sir. Hot. Hot, obviously, right? Because heat is getting liberated out. So obviously, when it touches the test tube, it is going to um, look hot. It is going to feel hot. Right? Good. Good. Like this is one thing. Moving on. Say, I want you to me. I want you to prove me that metal oxides are basic in nature. Okay. How will you prove this? Prove this to me. Metal oxides are generally basic in nature. Prove it to me. How will you prove this? There are two ways by which you can prove this. How? Do you at least know this fact? We, do we know that metal oxides are basic in nature? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Ah, how do you prove it? Metal oxides react with acids to form salt and water. Can you just repeat again, Kana? <coughs> metal oxides react with hmm. acids to form salt and water. Ah, okay, that's a good reaction, right? Obviously, whenever I have a metal oxide, I'll just write MO, right? So metal oxides reacting with any acid for that matter, I am going to have neutralization reaction happening in the sense that I'm going to have salt plus H2O is going to get formed, right? So obviously, this will happen, this particular reaction will happen only if this is basic in nature, right? Is it not? Only if the metal oxides are basic in nature, I will, on reaction with acid, they'll be able to form salt and water, right? 
okay fine this we understood uh, can you give me any example for this metal oxide plus acid react, uh, reacting to form salt and water any one reaction can you give me sir we can even prove it uh, with uh, litmus paper that it is basic okay we we'll come come to that point yes that is correct but you cannot uh, directly do we'll come to no, that point uh, yes when yeah, we uh, when we add it to the water when we dilute ah, it that's the point when we add to acid what happens sorry when we add water to a metal oxide what will happen hydroxide that's it we already saw the reaction here you see calcium oxide is a metal oxide when i add water to this what is happening i'm having sorry i'm having a base getting formed that is calcium hydroxide right you can see that the calcium hydroxide is a base and that is getting that is getting formed by uh, adding water to the metal oxide in this case the metal oxide is calcium oxide okay so this also prove again obviously if you use a litmus test here on calcium hydroxide i mean basically in this solution then you will find that the red red litmus will turn blue right okay fine this we understood can you give me one example for this metal oxide plus acid gives me salt and water the copper oxide Plus, uh, hydrochloric acid gives copper oxide plus water. Sir. Okay, let me write the reaction. Copper oxide. Okay, you tell me the formula, sir. Na copper oxide formula. CuO, sir. Okay, CuO plus HCl. Okay. Forms. Gives uh, Cu uh, Cl two plus O. CuCl plus H2O. Okay, fine. Now there are there is one major mistake and two a minor mistake. We'll come back to the major mistake later. There is one minor mistake in this reaction. What is the minor mistake? Now tell me. Uh, when I go to Cu2O, right? When I go to Cu2O. What is the ion uh, for copper here? What is the cat? Obviously, uh, oxygen. Oxygen. Oxygen forms what ion? Oxygen forms what ion? Oxide, right? What is the oxide ion's formula? Ion. What is the ion? Anybody can answer. It's not that only one person have to answer. What is the what is the oxide ion? Hmm. What is oxide? O two. That's it. If it's an ion, will you tell it without any charge? O two minus. Ah, O two minus. Right. So copper should have been what then? In this case, copper. What is the charge for copper? Two plus. Ah, okay. So it's going to be copper two plus. Obviously, two two will get cancelled. That is how you got Cu. Now look at this. Copper is in what? Okay, C chloride. Chlor chlorine would have formed what ion? Chlorine. Cl minus. Cl minus, right? So now in this case, uh, whatever the formula which you wrote, what should have been the charge for copper? Cu two plus. Cu two plus is here, but according to the CuCl formula which you wrote, what should have been the charge here? CuCl two. Yeah, it should have been CuCl two absolutely because here you see copper. According to the formula you wrote, it would have been Cu plus. Is it not? Then only Cu plus and Cl minus will get cancelled to form CuCl. Right now, remember you start with Cu two plus. It has to be Cu two plus. I know that copper can exist in copper plus also. I'm not denying the fact, right? But whenever you write these kind of reactions, you have to make sure that if you start with copper two plus, it should be copper two plus in the reactor product side also. But again, not for all the reactions. Okay, in some reactions it might change, but generally speaking, at least for your level, right? It has to be copper two plus. So the formula. Should be CuCl two. Okay, whomever answered the question, this was the minor mistake, and one major mistake. What is the major mistake here? Sir, it's not balanced. 
okay fine and that is we'll come back to the reddit we'll balance it other than that a very big mistake is there very very big mistake if in your exams i am oh, sorry if in your exams uh if they ask you to write a reaction for metal oxide with acid and you write this reaction you will be awarded zero mark why even though cucl2 balancing everything is correct you will get zero mark why cucl is not a salt sorry cucl is not a salt cucl is a salt cucl2 is a salt cucl is a salt that is not an issue sir iodine is more reactive than copper ah so basically this reaction won't happen at all guys this reaction won't happen and the reason was absolutely correct copper is less reactive than hydrogen i told you copper when this three elements copper ag and au will not react with hydrogen in any form it cannot react with acid say ha it cannot react with h2o right nothing wherever you see hydrogen coming it will not these three elements will not be able to displace hydrogen because they are less reactive than hydrogen right so this question this even though theoretically you see everything is correct but this reaction won't happen and this can be a question also they'll give copper plus hcl why the reaction is not happening they'll ask you you have to tell that because copper is less reactive than hydrogen right so yes so that means this is wrong then tell me another one this if this is wrong you have to give me another answer metal oxide plus acid give me an answer example metal oxide plus acid give salt plus water give me an example sodium oxide plus hydrochloric acid mm. <laughs> Yes. Uh, sodium. Okay, I'll write. I'll write. One second. One second. Na. So okay. First, sodium oxide. You told. Tell me formula. Na two. Ah. Okay. Plus. Uh, sodium oxide plus hydrochloric acid. Hmm. Okay. Plus. Forms. Forms. Na two plus H two. Okay. Good. This is this is fine. Na two plus H two. Okay, so this is a sodium oxide, metal oxide reacting with acid to form salt and water. Good one. There are so many things. It's not only like you have to use only HCl. You can use H2SO4, HNO3, whatever comes to your mind. Only the salt will change. Okay, right, fine. Next question. Moving on. Uh, say, give me example two examples. Okay, okay, fine. Two examples. of amphoteric oxides guys please bear with my diagram okay this is an example i need two examples of an amphoteric oxide what is an amphoteric oxide people we saw this in class react with both acids as well as bases absolutely right they can react with both acids as well as bases generally what happens is metal oxides will react with acids that we now just now we saw and obviously the opposite will happen when i have a non metal oxide that will react with the base generally okay now see now metal oxides react with acid non metal oxides react with base but there are certain oxides which will react with both an acid as well as a base those are water called as aluminum oxide yes good okay aluminum oxide is one example for sure another one zinc oxide yes absolutely true very good very good right fine so okay next going to the tougher question can you prove that this is amphoteric through chemical reactions say example take um, aluminum oxide right and prove it to me that it is an amphoteric oxide that means give me reactions they give me reaction in the sense you have to give me one reaction where it is reacting with an acid another reaction where it is going to react with the base can you give me that
यस सर एल्युमिनियम ऑक्साइड प्लस हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड वन सेकेंड वेट ओके सो एल्युमिनियम ऑक्साइड प्लस हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड गिव्स एल्युमिनियम क्लोराइड एल्युमिनियम क्लोराइड फॉर्मूला ए एल सी एल थ्री हाँ गुड ओके प्लस एच टू प्लस वाटर एच टू या ओके दिस इज फॉर रिएक्टिंग विथ एन एसिड रिएक्टिंग विथ अ बेस एल्युमिनियम ऑक्साइड प्लस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ओके एन ए ओ एच गिव्स This is the tricky part. Let me see if you can tell it correctly. Okay, at least you, if you don't remember the formula, can you tell me what is the salt formed here? Obviously, it is going to form H two O. What is the so, salt name? Sodium aluminate. Sodium aluminate. Great, great, very good, very good. So it's called sodium aluminate. Oh God. Right, sodium aluminate. And if you're wondering what is the for, anybody knows formula? Sodium aluminate. So okay. N A L O T. Yeah, correct. Absolutely true. N A A L O T. Okay, that is my sodium aluminate. Right. Fine. Very good. Very good. Right. These are amphoteric salts. Now, same goes with the Zn also. You can write the same reaction, but in this case, you would have formed what? In this case, sodium instead of aluminium would have formed. If I use zinc, zinc oxide, zincate. Right. Very good. Very good. These are about your uh, amphoteric oxides, which can react with both acids as well as bases. Good. Good. Okay. Now, there was this question. Uh, Now rusting, right? Now rusting. What and all are the? Uh, say we know we have types of reactions, right? One is what is called as decomposition reaction, displacement reaction, uh, combination reaction, right? So like that. Tell me all the possible categories can where rusting can go into. Different different types of reactions, you know. right what is the or it say it's not one type you can tell there are so many types under which i can i can categorize rusting into what are the different categories of reactions i can categorize rusting into at least two you can tell me for sure combination reciprocation combination then reciprocation precipitation where do you come precipitate here okay first no, oxidation reaction Okay, fine. One is combination. The other one is oxidation. Anything else? Combination, oxidation. I think good enough, right? So rusting is both an oxidation as well as a combination reaction. And if I ask you, write the chemical reaction behind rusting of iron. What will be your answer? I want to know. What is the reaction behind rusting of iron? What will be your answer? How do you know it is combination? How do you know it is oxidation? Only if you know the reaction, then you can answer this, right? How this came? So first, what is rusting, people? What do you mean by rusting? Okay, rusting is a rusting is a word for iron, but in general, there is a there is a common name for the all these kind of processes. Rusting is for iron, but generally we say some other word. If at all uh, say if I'm going to talk about all the metals together, it is called as what? What is the word I'm looking for? Corrosion, sir. Yes, good. It's called it's corrosion. Okay, so what happens in corrosion, people? 
what do you mean by corrosion or what do you mean by rusting it doesn't matter uh, if at all uh, yeah uh, when the metal get exposed to air moisture hmm etc correct it forms correct. A, when a the metal gets exposed to the metal. ah sorry sorry when the metal gets exposed to air or uh, moisture then a reddish brown coating is formed uh, is formed on the metal sir okay so that you're telling for iron right that is for rusting of iron so a reddish brown coating is formed on the surface of the metal okay fine in general corrosion if i have to say right basically you, you should not tell reddish brown because obviously reddish brown will only come for iron right corrosion means what it as ashi said when the metal gets exposed to the air or or moisture on general atmosphere right a coating of what a coating of something is formed on the surface what is that coating of what coating of okay so in atmosphere like if i open it to the air like say i have iron right if i make iron exposed to air if i just keep it in open atmosphere what gas will come and react with it ah that's the answer so you have to tell corrosion is a process where when the metal gets exposed to the atmosphere a coating of metal oxide is formed so basically metal is here oxygen will come right now they both will react to form metal oxide right now that is what is the coating on top of this okay so you must tell that metal reacts with the oxygen is present which is present in the atmosphere to form a coating of metal oxide on its surface this is exactly you must write this is how exactly you must write okay so metal is there it is exposed to the atmosphere atmosphere oxygen so this metal and oxygen will react and there will be a coating formed and that coating is nothing but metal oxide right this entire phenomena is what is called as corrosion right and if this particular thing happens in iron it is called as rusting and obviously the metal oxide coating would have been reddish brown color as you said right now tell me what is the reaction between what is the reaction behind the rusting of iron i think now if you look at this you can easily answer right but not only this there is some some other one second wait i'll write okay iron plus iron plus oxygen gives uh, oxygen how will you write in reaction o2 ah o2 okay anything else plus h2 ah moisture ox it's not only oxygen which is present in atmosphere both these oxygen as well as moisture is present water vapor basically okay right now together they will form what iron hydroxide iron hydroxide what is the formula for rust rust is basically what i'm going to get formed what is the formula of rust fe2o3 fe2o3 sir iron oxide okay iron oxide is that it what is the, uh, what is the exact formula for rust what about this h2o how will you write this Fe2O3 is there, okay. Obviously, anything else, or is this incomplete? Sorry. Hydroxide. No. If you remember, what is the formula of the rust? This formula is solved. What is the formula for rust? It's not just Fe2O3, okay? Sorry. plus water you write plus water or plus how do you write it into water sir okay dot water you know into water it's called fe2o3 dot xh2o right you you must write it like this right so i have some x xh2o coming you write fe2o3 dot xh2o this is the formula for rust okay so if someone ask you write the chemical reaction behind rusting this is what you will write 
Okay, Fe2O3 dot XH2O is the formula for rust. Okay, what is this XH2O called as people? So many things we say, right? So a CSO4 dot 5H2O, Na to CO3 or 2H2O, something, something we see here, you see Fe2O dot XH2O. What is this dot H2O called as? There was water a name to this, right? Ah, good. It's called water of crystallization. Good. All these terms you have to remember. Okay. It's called water of crystallization. Very good. Very good. Right. Fine. Moving on to the next question. Mm, what is the time? Okay. We have time. Right. Say next question is, um, what should I ask you? Okay. Magnesium plus H2O, if I put, can you complete the reaction? So is it magnesium oxide plus uh, hydrogen, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, who, who answered this? It was, was it Harita? Who was this? Vaishnavi, sir. Vaishnavi. Okay. So how many of you support Vaishnavi and how many of you oppose Vaishnavi? Just put it in a chat box. Go to your chat box and just put... Uh, yes or no. Yes means you support Vaishnavi. No means you know you don't support Vaishnavi. Yes, please go for it. Everybody participate. She wrote, uh, what she wrote? Once again, she wrote Mg plus H2O forms MgO plus H2. Right? I want to know whether this reaction is correct or not. So how many of you support Vaishnavi? How many of you doesn't, don't support Vaishnavi? Put yes or no. Yes for supporting, no for supporting. Okay. Sanyu says no. Harita says no. Come on, everybody participate. I know I have some 11 people here. Everybody participate. Okay, Akshita supports. Atharva says no. Okay, Durro also says no. Okay, fine. The answer is right there in the chat box. Right, someone, one second. Let me show it to you. Ah, the answer is here, right? No, sir, it is MgOH twice. Absolutely true, right? Now, why, 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 why the answer is not MgO? It is actually Mg. Magnesium hydroxide. Yeah, magnesium hydroxide, obviously, right? Why is it like this? Now, H2O, when I write, what kind of H2O I'm talking? I'm talking, I'm, am I talking about water vapor or am I talking about normal water that is liquid water? What exactly I'm talking about in, means H2O here? Sir, what is the normal water? Okay. If it is normal water, the next question is whether it's cold water or hot water. Hot hot water, right? You have to remember that this was hot water. Magnesium is not capable of reacting with cold water. What are the three metals which can react with cold water? Only three metals can react with cold water. What are the metals? What are the three metals which can react with cold water? So potassium, water? sodium, and calcium. Absolutely. Sodium, potassium, and calcium, they can react with cold water. Forming same thing, hydroxide plus H2. Okay, that is fine, right? And magnesium, and I think even, uh, not aluminum, magnesium and zinc will react 
uh, with hot water only because they, why is why this happens because obviously magnesium and zinc are less reactive when compared to sodium potassium calcium right but the same thing if i ask you for iron or say iron or aluminium for example right now both of them will react with what can they react with hot water can they react with hot water no sir okay then what will they react with steam sir steam what do you say steam sir ah steam absolutely steam is nothing but h2o in the form of a gas okay now if say fe reacts with h2o in the form of a vapor what will be the product Yes, Fe plus water vapor. Sorry, Fe Fe plus steam will form what? Hmm. Whenever a metal reacts with steam, what happens? What is formed? Metal hydroxide. metal hydroxide when i have liquid water whether i have cold water or hot water then i form hydroxide when i have steam what do i form metal oxide ah metal oxide here only fe2o3 comes right so remember that when you have hot water or cold water doesn't matter water and liquid form right if it reacts with metal you will always end up with hydroxides right but if the same h2o is in form of a water vapor or say steam you will always end up with metal oxides okay right so now i i understand why vaishnavi was confused because she was remembering this that's why that's why she told ngo right but remember that will happen only if i have water in the form of steam okay vaishnavi good attempt yes, right okay moving on to the next question right say uh okay bleaching action of bleaching powder okay bleaching action of bleaching powder give me the chemical reaction behind this okay first bleaching powder formula what is bleaching powder formula people sir ca ocl2 hmm right ca bracket ocl twice okay this is the formula what is the name of this compound people what is the name of this compound calcium oxychloride ah good it's called calcium oxychloride okay fine so i know this bleaching powder has something bleaching action means basically cleaning action when i say bleaching i'm talking about the cleaning process okay right now how what is responsible what is the what is the one thing which is responsible for this uh, your bleaching powders bleaching action chlorine okay okay good chlorine is the one who is responsible for this so how how will you write the reaction then so now can bleaching powder by itself clean the clean the substances or say uh, when you use uh, bleaching powder in the toilets you must have seen your mom or someone doing it right say now will they use only bleaching powder or do they do they use anything else along with this no water absolutely they use water right 
So that you have to write. Now, if I ask you to write bleaching action, you must write H2O forms what? Right, okay, I think you guys forgot. It is going to be calcium oxide plus chlorine gas is evolved. This is the one which is responsible for your bleaching action. Okay, this is the one which is responsible for your bleaching action. Obviously, this is a white powder, right? Calcium oxide will be a white powder. Okay, but I think I'm saying it is wrong. Uh, I don't think H2O is required. I'm sorry. Right, H2O is not required, but it just gives me calcium oxide plus Cl2. Okay, so this is the one, chlorine is the one which is responsible for the bleaching action. Okay, right, this is one, one question. Moving on to the next question. Um, what should I ask you? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to ask maybe individual people, right? Four reactions. Four reactions where a non-metal and a non-metal reacts. Okay. So let me ask, or I hope you understood the question here. The question is, I need four reactions. And in both the cases, a non-metal should react with a non-metal. Okay, so say, let me ask some someone in particular. Um, okay, what the first name I see is Aditi. Are you there, Kana? Aditi, are you there? Is it coming in the chat? No, right? Okay. Okay, fine. We'll go to the next one. Akshita, are you there, Kana? Yes, sir. Ah, can you tell me one reaction? Four reactions are there. One, one of them is your responsibility. Tell me one reaction. Non-metal plus non-metal. Carbon plus oxygen from carbon dioxide. Absolutely. Very easy. And next person should not be using oxygen. Okay? Fine. The next person I want is... Uh, say Amrita, are you there, Kana? Yes, sir. Ah, can you tell me, Kana, one more reaction, but don't use oxygen. Hydrogen can be a non-metal. Okay. Sir, nitrogen plus hydrogen gives ammonia. Mm, good. N2 plus H2 gives NH3. I, mean, I should have asked you to write the reaction, but still I hope you know the reaction. What is the formula for N? I mean, nitrogen, hydrogen, and ammonia. I hope you all hope you know. Anyways, good, good. Moving on. Another person. Uh, say, at, right at the time Atharva left. Okay. <laughs> Arman, are you there? No, sir, I'm there in the middle. Oh, Atharva is here. Okay, Atharva. You, you, you predicted that it is going to be you, right? Good. Yes, Atharva, can you give me one more reaction? Not hydrogen, not hydrogen. Uh, nitrogen you can use, but give us, give me some kind of combination. Like, do not use the same thing, same kind of reactions. You can take carbon and hydrogen. Carbon, hydrogen, when they react, what will they form? Atharva.
or any other reaction whatever comes to your mind anything you can tell me yes atarva you have sulfur you have phosphorus you have i don't know so many non metals are chlorine are there fluorine is there so many are there okay you need more time atarva can i ask someone else okay fine arman are you there arman okay fine durlav are you there kana durlav yes sir ha ah, yes can you give me one more reaction okay you can use the same things which are there but at least you obviously not the same element you can use different element and tell me anything whatever comes to your mind so many reactions we saw in this right non metal plus non metal okay anybody can answer this this becomes a open question now anybody can answer two more reactions so chlorine plus hydrogen gives hydrogen chloride ah okay that's a good reaction now h2 plus cl2 giving hcl is a very good reaction yes anything else c plus h2 gives ch also ah c plus h2 so nitrogen plus oxygen gives absolutely nitrogen plus oxygen gives so many it gives right So nitrogen so now in this, yeah, nitrogen dioxide. One of the oxide you can tell. There are so many oxides formed, so you can tell always this N plus not N two, right? N two plus O two forms N two O or N O two, whatever you form, whatever you want to have, doesn't matter, right? You see, in all these reactions, a non-metal is reacting with a non-metal. Okay, right? So I think we we'll stop with this for today, Kana. Right? We'll stop with this for today. so next class uh, i will find to try that uh, i will find to try who are the group members and by next week your exams will be over guys by next week your exams will be over yes, or still continuing yes sir yes, okay it will be it, it will be over right so can i start a new chapter then periodic table can i start next week yes no yes sir okay fine then so yes, next sir. class we will start yes any any comments some chat is there no no chat okay right okay i'll stop here right fine guys thank you so much it was nice you are i think preparing nicely i can see that everybody is preparing nicely and everybody almost everybody is answering just keep continuing right do not just study the book right watch some videos learn some new things 10th to the 10th is the time you can learn a lot of extra things when you go to 11th and 12th your your uh, school studies itself will be uh, the time will be sufficient you will not be able to do anything extra but in 10th yes you do have a lot of things right and everybody i i feel is somehow some way or the other innovative in their own way right so try to nurture it right embrace it okay anyways a good class right thank you so much people we'll meet again next week i'm ending the class Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you everybody. Thank you.